Alright guys, welcome to your 18th video, and what I did between the last video and this video is I actually added another type of link. These are called the list links, because the default links are any links that you can use, maybe in this layout and this layout, and remember, they were like gray, and whenever you hover over them, they turn white. Well, I needed to add um, an extra margin whenever I was making the links on the left, so um, I only changed one property and that is margin left right here but anyways um, I added a new class list links and whenever I make these links right here they're gonna be that class but anyways I didn't want to go through a whole video teaching you guys that basically what I just said because it would take too long and we already know how to do everything but anyways pause the video and add this code right here from list links below to your text file and once you do that, you're ready to move on. So the only other thing that I want to do here is I want to add one more class to the footer menu. Footer menu, and that is the right class. Now all we're going to do, the most important property, is float right. Now we need this class because remember, right now all of our crap is floating to the left. This home button, account profile, whatever programs you see how all of these buttons are pretty much aligned with the left hand side of the footer kinda of like text align left well some buttons we want to align with the right hand side for example this logout button we want it on the right hand side of the footer and also these little icons when this is full screen those are on the right hand side as well so how do we do that well we do that with the right class so most importantly float right now for right this is just pretty much housekeeping stuff zero pixels and margin right we want this at two pixels so it isn't exactly butted up against we have a little bit of space now for border right we want none and I'll show you guys what I'm doing right here you see how each of these buttons it has a right hand border only and that's to separate you have a really thin line right here that separates the account from the profile and the profile from whatever this is you see how we have that line right there well that is actually a border right however on this logout button we don't want a border right because that would mean we have a border right here between pretty much uh, the browser and nothing we actually want to move that border to the left hand side so then we have a border between the logout and the icons so that's what we're doing, pretty much moving the border from the right to the left. So border right equals none, border left, however, equals one pixel solid RGBA black, and it's about 30% opaque. Make sure that this is the same border that you set earlier, just border left instead of right. So that is basically all of the styling that we need to do on the buttons and on the overall footer. Now I'm going to be teaching you the last main part, and this was what I've been talking about forever, the different layouts. So I said that we have a one column layout, a two column layout, and a three column layout. So let's go ahead, layouts, and style those layouts right now. Now just to recap one last time, whenever I talk about a one column layout, a two column layout and a three column layout I'm talking about this entire drop up menu so this entire drop up menu is a layout a one column layout this entire drop up menu is a three column layout so just remember whenever I say layout I'm talking about the entire drop up menu now whenever I say individual columns like column one column two then I'm talking about this. So this is column one, this is column two, and if I say that one column takes up, like has a coal span of two, this is what I'm talking about, and you guys are gonna see right now. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to style every single layout, or the default styling that all layouts are gonna have. So this is how you do that. Footer, one, column, layout and you can actually just copy this and if you guys didn't know how to style multiple elements um with the same well it's kind of like a cheating technique 
how to style multiple elements at once, this is how you do it.